All right, so what we're going to do tonight is we are going to induct Larry Balma, Dave Dominey, and Gary Dodd into the 2015 Skateboarding Hall of Fame. So please welcome to the stage one of the main men at Tracker for years as team manager and marketing director and all-around great guy to do the introduction, Mr. Brian Ridgeway. Where's the ridge? Mr. Brian Ridgeway. Oh, looks like we have Lance Smith as well. All right. Two for one. We've got some legendary guys here. How you guys doing? Give it up, give it up, give it up. Yes, sir, here you go. Do it. <laughs> Good evening. Lance Smith. I know that people in the 70s know about Lance that worked with Tracker. I didn't, I didn't hit it till the 80s, but I know what Lance laid down so that I could follow footsteps. So if he wants to say a couple words before they come up, go right ahead. Oh, thank you so much, Brian. I just want to thank everybody. It's been an amazing ride. From building trucks in North County at Dave Dominey's garage in Cardiff, straight to the Black Hill of La Costa, 1975 to this room. It, was, it has been an honor to work with, to ride, and a photograph of the best skateboarders in the world. I want to thank everybody for the love and respect that you've shown Tracker through the years. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lance. I'm here with my, uh, one of my best skate buddies. We, we started skating together back in 74, 75. Still skate today. He lives in Northern California. I live in Southern California. Both of us are hillbillies from West Virginia. We live in California, and we're staying. And in 1983, I uh, was at the tracker office after I was scheduled to go back home. And uh, Larry was in the office, and Stacy Peralta was in the office. And Stacy saw me packing my bag to go back to college. I was 18. And he basically asked me a question. He said, are you going to school to learn what they want you to know, or are you going to school to learn what you want to know? And I said, I don't fucking know. I don't. I'm just going to school. He goes back into uh, the tracker building, and Larry comes out and asks me to see my plane ticket, my return ticket home. And I show it to him. He looks at the jacket and tears it up. And then asks me if I want to work for tracker. I said, I guess I have to. I don't have any way to get home. <laughs> so he basically told me to call my mom and dad and say, that's it. You work at Tracker and you live in California. So I spent the next four hours trying to figure out how I was going to do that. So I called home. My dad answered the phone. I said, uh, is mama home? <laughs> He goes, yeah, 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 she's here, she's here. What time does your plane get in? i got to hurry up. Let's go. What, what are you doing? He had to drive three hours to go pick me up. And I'm like, I'm not coming home. He goes, what, the plane's delayed? Uh, what's happening with that plane? Uh, I'm like, I moved to California. I have a job now. He said, you better have your black ass on that plane. I just put $25 in the tank. And you get a full tank of $25 back then, you know. He had had it. He gave it to my mom, and she said, I guess you know what you're doing. And I said, I know what I'm doing. From that point on, I had 18 more years of education. And I just want to thank Larry, who gave me the chance, trusted in me, and told me all the stories about Gary and, and Dave on the couches, with, lived with Larry and Lori for a while, and it was just incredible. An incredible experience learning and, and dealing with uh, all the people associated, the team riders, artists. Craig helping out, Peggy, everybody that was that gave me my education. I just want to thank Larry for that. And, and Dave and Larry, come on up, because it's real. <laughs> All right, baby. <laughs> Much deserved. All right, boy.
Hey, thanks, David. Ridgeway, Lance. Hey, where are you guys going? Hey, Ridge, Lance, get back up here. You're not getting off that easy. Jeez. Hey, are we having fun or what? Man, I want to... This is awesome, man. Thank you, I ask, and, and Skateboard Hall of Fame. I, I, it's hard to believe. When we rode the first urethane wheels back in 73, you know, down those newly paved hills of La Costa, we just knew that there was the next evolutionary step had to be some wider trucks, some stronger trucks, some real sealed bearings. And I mean, we rode every every setup there was and r and d it and and then went home and started working on some prototypes we enjoyed every minute of the process and while starting a business was always in the back of our minds we probably would have been perfectly happy if we just ended up with a bunch of cool skateboards for us and our friends but uh... gosh we had no impact or just what what we would be making and that would have an impact on skateboarding but anyways we did start a business and it raged in the good years and we crashed in the bad years and had a school of hard knocks and all that stuff but no matter what happened we never lost our our passion and love for what we were doing and and making cool products and spreading them around the world. Um, my partner Dave here that uh, we started up together. Thank you. I really can't start thanking any everybody by name, but I just got to say thank you very much for showing your appreciation for a lot of hard work we did for a lot of years. And I just got to say, once once we got going, making these trucks and got so much good response to it, um, it was a, it just changed my life because I, I knew what I was going to do every day for the next, like, seven years. I just, there was no question. And it, and it really paid off. You know, we... We made some money and we had some fun, and um, I haven't. <laughs> anyway, thank you to the Hall of Fame for uh, giving this, giving us this honor, and thanks for the very good evening as well. Thanks, Dave. Uh, at this time, I'd like to bring up my new partner, Max DeFore. Where's Max at? Max hails from Montreal, Canada. And he skated vert for Tracker in the 90s and, and then uh, went back to Canada where they got all those good maple trees and started woodchuck uh, and started making skateboards. He makes uh, decks for a lot of different brands today. And anyways, in... 2009, we teamed up and, and merged Tracker and, and Woodchuck and under the Pure Distribution banner. And today, Max pretty much runs the whole show. I just I stay back in the workshop and make master patterns and molds and oh, the Tracker book, I guess, right? Now. Don't forget that. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say that I'm really proud to be a part of the Tracker Heritage. And for me, it's been always a dream to be a part of uh, what I'm doing right now. And Tracker for me is skateboarding, and I get to do it every day and, and work. So I, I couldn't be more stoked. I'm really, really happy. Thanks, Larry. Thanks for thanks my wife, my kid, and everything. And this is great. Thank you. Well, really, really proud to be up here and, and be an icon among, gosh, 
Larry Stevenson, Stasek, Bolster, Friedman, Grant Britton, Rich Novak, Fausto Vitello, and, and tonight Jim O'Mahony and, and Steve will be up here in a few minutes. And anyways, it's a pretty cool deal. But you know, I've got to thank I got to really thank our staff of people. Um, Gosh, we have, you know, here's our, our team managers, you know, Lance was first, and, and then Ridgeway, he was there for 20 raging years. I mean, <laughs> you know, besides Stacy, he's probably the most respected team manager in the industry here. <laughs> and maybe not besides Stacy, but along with Stacy, how's that? Anyways, uh, gosh, you know, I, I just like, I got some of our old staff in house here. We got artists. Chuck Edwall was our first artist. Uh, Chuck made some iconic logos in there. And Don Dominey's here. Don was our artist the rest of the 70s. And, and then we had Jamie Briggs, GSD, Craig Stesick. Where's Craig? You've seen him tonight. They all played in our pen for a while. Well, along, you know, we had a lot of team captains back then. Ridgeway needed help. We had uh, Sarge Carter and, and Keith Lenhart, uh, Mark Hostetter, Julio De La Cruz, tra Tracker Dan Santoven. Uh, Buddy Carr came out from Ohio. Okay. Oh, man. They're giving me the hook. I don't hear the elevator music. We got to wrap it up. What's up? There it is. Buddy Carr, stand up. Where are you at? Ground those mag trucks that you cherish so much. How about everybody that ever rode trackers stand up and give us a high? Where's, where's Blackheart? You didn't mention Blackheart. He said, damn, I was on the team, dude. I was in that first movie. Give it up for Larry Bama and Dave Dominey. Max Dufour and Tracker Trucks. And of course, Lance Smith and Brian Ridgway. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Right? Congratulations, you guys. It's awesome. I wasn't kidding when I told you I would send Noel in. Right? <laughs>